Hey folks, this is Casey and I am one Mellow Marigold. Welcome back to the farm and to my channel. We are here <laughs> in front of a shit ton of black walnuts. I mean, this is more than I ever thought I would have. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how I am going to attempt for the first time to harvest and process those nuts. So I gotta be honest, uh, until I moved to the farm, I saw no value in black walnut trees. <laughs> really, honestly, truly. And most of the people I know sort of were in the same camp. We found them to be nuisance trees, right? Big old nuts fall down. They got icky black husks. They leave a mess everywhere. You got to clean up before you mow. Like, this honestly seems way more work than anything it was worth, right? Now I move over here and look at this big, gorgeous, gorgeous <laughs> tree that I've got behind me. She's a monster uh, and I'm not taking her down anytime soon. And so I got to deal with the nuts. So I decided to jump in, learn a ton about it and see what the whole process of harvesting black walnuts and processing them entails. The first thing I learned is that this might actually be a mast year. So the nuts that I am collecting now, the sheer volume might be drastically reduced. It's my understanding that lots of nut trees uh, will often produce a bunch one year and then scale back the next and not produce any or just a few. So absolutely could be what's going on. Could also just be that this is an off year and I'm gonna get <laughs> even more next, but we'll just take it one year at a time, right? So I have been using my handy dandy nut roller, which is a lifesaver, a lifesaver, uh, to pick up all the nuts um, I still probably have at least two wheelbarrows full out in the yard, um, but I do need to start getting them processed because we're just kind of losing time in the year. Um, and I want to get the husks off so we can start drying the nuts out for use. So what we're doing today, and this might be a couple parts video, or I might just put it all together in one big long video. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, what we're doing today is trying to get the rest of the bulk of the nuts up and we're gonna work on dehulling them and I'm gonna use my car in the driveway to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you why as I go. I think that's probably gonna be the best solution for me at this juncture, but there's tons of ways, there's tons of ways to do it. So even though I've got a lot more nuts yet to harvest, I am actually running out of bucket space <laughs> to collect them in. So I am gonna grab my wheelbarrow and I'm gonna take them on over to the driveway and I'm gonna start dumping them out on a tarp that I've got laid out there. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't expect it to be this heavy. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so I've got this big old blue tarp spread out on the driveway. This is an old tarp. It was here at the farm when I got here, buried under a bunch of leaves and shit. So, I don't care if it gets a little dirty and crazy. Neither does Oliver. There's a lot of different ways that you can remove the hulls from the nut. Uh, the green part is the hull. They smell kind of tangy for a while, kind of lemony. It's kind of good. Um, there's a million ways to do it. I have a ton and I'm one person. So I'm going to try rolling over them with my car. Lots of people do what I hear, <laughs> so if it works for them, it might work for me. Uh, when you crush the hulls, they stain everything. They stain everything like this really dark brownish black. In fact, some people actually use the hulls for as a dye, to dye wool and things like that. So um, it's going to get messy. We're going to just start dumping them out on the big blue tarp. And when we got a whole bunch done, we're going to roll over them with the car and hopefully start separating the nuts out. Oh my gosh, this is so heavy! <laughs> I'm down, buddy! There we go. We got a lot of nuts. <laughs> we got a whole lot of nuts. There's going to be more coming off the tree, but I hope not that many. Okay, so next step is to remove the hull from the nut. There's a method to my madness. So this is my brand new gravel driveway, just put in this year, you may recall. Uh, and already along the edges, I've got lots of grass and weeds and things like that growing in. Uh, and I'd prefer they aren't there. Yeah, so 
when the hull is separated from the nut, it's all black inside and it creates this like juice called juggalo. Juggalo? Sounds like juggalo, but that's a whole different thing. Cool if you're into it. Anyway, <laughs> so the juggalo, the liquid, is actually a natural herbicide. And so when you see lots of videos of people processing their nuts, they're often going to dump the water left over from processing those nuts in places where they don't care if things, plants, weeds, whatever, die off a little bit, okay? So I am totally cool with some of that liquid seeping down the driveway and potentially killing some of the weeds that I got along the way. In addition, once those hulls are removed, uh, it's generally a good idea to take a hose and like spray them off. Some people use a power washer. I don't have one, it's all good. So we're supposed to get rain here for the next four days. So what I'm hoping is I'm gonna do some rolling over these bad boys, get all those hulls loosened up, pulled off, and then I'm gonna let the rain wash away some of the debris. And if some of that water happens to kill some of those weeds alongside, win, win, win for everybody, <laughs> right? Uh, I fully expect when I drive over them that some are gonna like ping, 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 ping <laughs> in different directions. Whatever, we're just gonna try and give it a go. Who cares, right? Let's go. gonna lie that was kind of fun <laughs> but it worked great they didn't even like fly around they just mushed under the tires so let's look close up all righty some you're gonna see some wormies on some of these that's okay they don't go after the nut uh, some have already started turning black some are still green the air just smells tangy lemony from all those husks busting open uh but honestly i think most of them are at least mushed enough cranked up enough that it should be easy to separate the nut so we have had a good solid four days of rain to sort of soften up all of these hulls that we have crushed. Uh, it is dry-ish today, so I'm out here. I got my bucket. I got old pair of tongs. I got some gloves, and we're going to get some of these nuts separated so we can rinse them and get them up to dry and cure. Okay, this is a quick time check. I've got almost my first bucket like full. I'm leaving a little space because we're gonna get the hose in there and rinse them out. But um, so I've been doing this about 45 minutes. That's the big old pile of empty hulls. And like this, so this whole corner, even where my chair was, was filled with nuts. And now they're in the bucket. So like slow going, but not really actually all that slow. 
Hey folks, this is Casey. Uh, this is current day Casey. Uh, the Casey that you just watched, isn't she cute? Casey you just watched, that was November Casey. That was hopeful Casey. That was the Casey who thought she was going to do like one cute nut video, like the start to finish, like the whole process in one video. Yeah. It, that didn't happen. It sure did not happen because here we are still with the nuts everywhere. Now, okay, next Casey, next Casey you're going to see, that Casey is post-vacation Casey. So if you saw the where have I been and the there's no nuts in my nuts videos, that's like the Casey after those, right? So if you watch those two videos, then you'll understand why that Casey looks more exhausted. Yeah, and you know what? Poor thing, she was wrong because not only were there more nuts when she came home, there were more nuts than the first load of nuts. It's never ending. You're never going to stop hearing about my nuts here on YouTube. Okay, anyway, all I'm trying to say is bear with me. You're going to hear a lot about nuts. Maybe this isn't quality YouTube content, but you're here because I'm adorable anyway, right? You just want to see me get into messes and see how I get back out of it again. Anyway, I'm just going to sit in here and bag up some dried nuts and then you watch the next Casey because she has improved her process. We'll meet you back here. Okay, love you, bye. <laughs> hey folks, this is Casey and it is day 9,009,778 since I started harvesting my black walnuts. We're still going at it, but it's okay, it's okay. I feel like there's like an end in sight. I feel like with the second half of the harvest, I got a better process down. One thing I learned is it's much easier to take the nuts out of the hulls once they're dry. So I still definitely like the car rolling over it method, but they're dry this time. They've been stored in the barn and stored in places where they just wouldn't get the rain on them. So yay. Uh, also got a little sitting station, easier on my back. And then I got a little washing process. So I'm going to show you the second half today. And it's going to rain tomorrow. So hopefully we're going to get all those nuts out of their hulls this afternoon. Okay, let's go. Okay, same as before. I dumped the nuts out on a tarp. Rolled over them a whole bunch of times with my car. And that really honestly does a great job of loosening up the hulls. So that's the first step. I crushed them down. Then I grabbed my shovel. And I scoop a big bunch into this weird old kiddie pool. And I have a little seat, I got my bucket, I got my gloves, and I just start quickly popping out the nuts. And because they're dry, they're really coming off pretty easy and honestly much more clean than the ones where that got wet with rain. So, yay. So then the holes are coming all the way <laughs> down here to the big ugly tarp and we're dumping them down here and i have got a message up on facebook marketplace and craigslist saying hey if anybody uses hulls for dyeing fiber come on over grab a shovel take them home i put on some latex gloves just to keep my hands from staining too bad all right let's grab a shovel for them. Have done that first. Holes in the bucket. Got my pampered chef tongs. Okay, 
See, and it's just, whoop, it's just out. There we go, done. Just pull it out, that's all we're doing. <laughs> hey, buddy. When, uh, so when I was doing this with the first batch on the ground, they were still coming out pretty easy, um, but not as clean. So these are coming out much cleaner uh, because they are drier. Oop, we'll just throw the, if I see mold, I toss it. Worms are okay. They don't go inside. Once they are all out of the hull, they get in the shower. <laughs> I put a bunch in the cheap little basket and I come over here to my hose and I set it on the ground and I rinse them off on the jet stream. I am intentionally doing this on my gravel driveway because I am indeed secretly hoping that the um, toxin that is in the holes that causes plants not to grow will actually have a little herbicide effect. So Bring them over to the table. And just checking out any last little chunks I see, but I'm not too crazy about it. I'm not too picky about it. As long as I can see most of the stripes, a lot of those little fibers are going to just dry and shrivel up. It's like the big chunks. Ooh. Uh, and yes, by the way, it does not bother me at all if any of this dies off too. In fact, that's kind of the point. Eventually a patio will go in here. Okay. We're gonna set those to dry just for a little bit. We're gonna start on the next batch. And when we shake them, it sloughs off even more of the loose stuff. I do that <laughs> now they're coming inside I used to have this out on the porch but Walter went crazy so I'm ready to hide these from Walter I've got a couple of screens set up um, I've got one more that I can stack on top of here today and they come in here and they're just gonna dry out uh, they need to cure for at least two weeks they could definitely cure longer what I am gonna do just to help save space a little bit is I'm gonna leave these on the screens for about four days till they're super, super dry. Then I'm gonna hang them up in bags from whoop, the back wall and let them cure the rest of the way. Uh, when I say bags, I mean I am making bags out of bird netting. <laughs> so I'll show you the whole process start to finish, but I genuinely think this is going much faster than the first round. So let's do it. <laughs> okay, see. That Casey, she she got tired. That's the Casey who realized that these nuts are gonna be with her here forever. Now, the good news is my driveway is finally clear. Ha <laughs> uh, We got tons of nuts hanging up here drying, tons of nuts down here. I had to do a shit ton of work just to get this ready. That's gonna have to be in the next video. I'm so sorry. The nut saga will continue. But hey, you're here for it, right? Okay, listen. Love you so much. Thank you for all the support. Hope you're having a nutty December. I'm going to talk to you real soon, okay? Bye. <laughs>